All right, folks, welcome to the back nine. We're here in Belton, Texas for the belt, the open at Belton. Uh, on hole 10 here, we're about to start the back nine. We have a hot battle going right now, some hot trash golf. <laughs> so currently I'm at even and he's at one down. Yep. Uh, we're hoping to get some birdies here on the back nine. We've put ourselves in good positions, but we just, we're not making putts. Gotta be closer, gotta put ourselves yeah, closer. Yeah, we obviously gotta be closer than at the circle's edge because we we're either Doink City or Shank Wright, so. Um, or Airball City. Yeah, here we are um, and we're on to the back nine and so how we doing, keep moving. Yes, sir. Holy Hannah. Bro, where did you learn how to do that? What do you mean, throw it 300 feet? <laughs> oh, what a terrible shot. Not ideal, Nick. I'd be lying if I said it yeah, was. Yeah, you guys didn't see that. Just two in a row? Hey, at least they're close to each other. <laughs> Did you know that University of Mary Hart and Baylor, first of all, it used to be Baylor's all-women's school? And did you also know that they are... They've won the national championship in like division three football like a couple times in the last few years. Man, you're full of knowledge today. Thank you. Yeah, and if you want to check off a nine hole course, they have a disc golf course on the campus. Oh man. Played it last year. Yep. Anything else you want to know about uh, Belton? You just let me know. Okay, what are my odds of getting this inside circle two? Tell me that. What do you um, think? I'd say you got a 70% chance of getting circle two. You got faith in me, bud. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that's pretty routine hyzer. I literally put these two shanks right next to each other. Yeah, I'd say you're like circle one. That'll do, folks. Like 20 feet. That's what you gotta do sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta make up for it by throwing a really <laughs> good second shot. Three thirty to the pin. What are you doing and why? Probably throwing this splice out to the right. And letting it skip in. Oh, so you're gonna throw like a low skip shot, not like a knife shot? Um, I mean, I don't know about low. Probably like... Medium height. Yeah. We'll see how it comes out, then I'll tell you. Okay, cool. That's fair. Is that how the pros do it? Yep. Got it. Check. Put it in the memory bank. And I am... Short like Sally. Yep, super Sally. I gotta throw this one really quick just for the fun of it to actually see if it's as stable as I think. I mean. What happened on that first one? It's pretty straight. I was gonna say, you threw that last one and it never left Heiser. But, I mean, I still don't want that. Yeah. Like, I've got an MD1 for that. Yeah. I need. Flippy boys. I wish we could have had really bad weather today so that we could have saved this day for Friday. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, wow. You're not parked. No. That's kind of where I thought I would be. Hey, right next to you. I didn't do too bad then. Or did mine, you do really bad? Mine was terrible. Okay. I, want, I, didn't, I, just, I was thinking that. I just didn't want to say it. Yeah, mine was hashtag terrible. But like dumpster fire terrible or 
Not that bad. No, dumpster tire. <laughs> dumpster fire terrible. All right, so I got a little bit of low ceiling. I need to work the putt from left to right. So I'm going to do a little step spin putt. Step step spin putt, huh? Good height, just didn't work it enough. Work it. Not enough want. I gotta try this again. Oh. Yeah, just a whole bunch of no good shots. I feel like this should be a must get three. Yeah, until you throw it 110 feet off the tee pad. Hey, nice. did you see that? I didn't know that I had an impossible putt to make. So what I'm supposed to do is lay in the chains when it's done. <laughs> Whew! A little tester putt. Couple par saves. Seen worse. Pretty much a bogey. <laughs> Pretty much a bogey, I feel that. I feel that, bud. You know, we're going to need to start getting some birdies here. Or we're going to be in trouble. All right, we're hole 11 here. And so this year it's a double island. Uh, last year, as far as I'm aware, it was wide open. You could just throw as far and harder or wherever you wanted. Um, so this year you got to have some accuracy, which is nice. Uh, my ideal shot, depending on the wind, um, if it's coming left to right of the headwind, or crosswind left to right, I'm gonna be throwing a backhand shot. But if it's a tailwind or by, uh, a right to left, I'm gonna be throwing a sidearm. Um, what are you thinking here? I'm throwing backhand all day. Either way. Either way. No same, matter. same disc either way too? Or? No, I mean, we got a little bit of a headwind, so I'm gonna throw my more stable Arctic Fang and hopefully it holds up. Um, if it's like a ripping headwind, I'll probably throw a mid range, cool. over stable mid range. But yeah. Tailwind, definitely Arctic Fang. So cool. perfect. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Well, that's definitely a stable Arctic Fang. Is that even in bounds? I think so. I hope not. Uh. What was that boy? It was an Omega 4. Hopefully that's safe too. That's definitely <laughs> safe. That's my play over there. So that way to I the right? Open, open putt at it. You got a little room once you get down that hill. Like that might be too far though. Yeah, that drifted. That's safe though. Good tree. So I just uh, started um, tampering with uh, Millennium Disc. Uh huh. And the uh, mortar I've been throwing quite a bit. It's been a very reliable, like, overstable disc for me in terms of like the putter, like, kind of mid range disc. 
and been able to snap it with like, you know, two to 5% ante and it just kind of falls to flat and then dumps out hyzer on the sidearm. The big germ, the big germ mortar. Uh, this one isn't a big germ mortar, but it's, is that, is it his tour series disc or something or was, or it was at one point. Got it. Look at this good Sick looking girl. Sick from over here. So she got me close and I'm gonna put it in this time. I haven't been rewarding my disc for getting close to the basket. Get up. Oh. Most boring golf ever. Just par after par after par. Gonna have to learn how to putt before this weekend. That's for sure. You're draining them in practice, bud. Is that safe still? Yeah. That boy. Schmucks. The name of the game is putting, and when you can't putt, you're going to struggle significantly. You know what they say, right? Drive for show, putt for dough. Yep. Can't even make one at the circle today. Oops. Uh, let's talk about it. So this hole got switched from last year, I heard as well. It's now through the gap and upright, whereas it used to be visible through here, is that correct? Yep. Um, so my play is I'm gonna throw a distance driver and just try and get through the gap. I don't care where it is. If I can get through the gap and a little left, I'm just gonna be nice, easy upshot for three. Yep. Is that what you're doing? Same. Nice. Trying to throw a distance driver, finish a little bit left and go from there. I don't really want to be right because that makes the upshot a little bit more difficult. Nice shot, dude. That'll work. That's what we're I think for, right? so. Yeah. Oh, get through it. Not what you want to do, Hanson. No, that's really bad. Shoot. See, like there's the power control I'm talking about. Like I've thrown that disc a couple times this week now and I've ripped on it and it hasn't done that. Hmm. And so there's just these like this that are like a little flippy and I think I know them, but not quite yet. I mean, I guess we do have a little bit of a headwind left is, to right-ish, right? It is almost that, and I thought it was more of like a just left to right. Whack! Sure wasn't what we looked, were hoping for. And maybe I just need to throw that same shot, but aim at the left side of the gap because there I was aiming center, thinking it would flip up a little bit, bit but then come back. Right. So if I throw that same shot and aim at the left gap and it flips over like that, it's gonna be right at the bottom of that hill, almost like a pitch up range, which is what I'm really looking for on this hole. Cause right now I'm, I'm in jail. Yeah, gonna be tough to uh, scramble for par there. I mean, I don't even, this isn't terrible back here, but I don't really wanna land here either. Yeah. I'm gonna throw it just because. Holy 
boy. This is really bad back over here. Well, we'll see what happens, I guess. Well, that was stupid. Did it stay? Yeah. Let's go. Wow. Whoop. Heck of a shot. Scramble. Like if I was like if I was a creative player, I would say scramble is above average for my creative player. <laughs> I mean, based on that shot, sheesh. I really thought I was about to drop another one to you. I do was too. I was hoping you were. It's not done yet, but we'll take that. Like this is right. This is this right here is some like Colorado mountain golf. For sure. For sure. Oh. <laughs> like walking up a hill on your toes. You kidding me? All right, let's see if any whole trees are cut down on 13. I'm gonna say right now it hasn't changed. I think they've changed it already. So we are at hole- 13. 13, 399 feet. Last year this was a par five, this year it's a par three. Drastic change. Big change. And the fairway, as you can tell, is pretty tight. Um, they said they were going to make some changes. I guess there was some controversy last night on the players page. They were, you know, asking why things weren't changed like they should have been, um, since it went from a three to a, or it went from a five to a three. They said that they would maybe, uh, move, remove some more stuff today. Is that right, Cole? Yeah, I've heard that there was potentially going to be some trees removed. It doesn't really look like anything's changed to me, but there's so many trees on this hole that I don't. I feel like, personally, I feel like this hole is kind of like a hope. Poking hope? Yeah. Because even if you throw a good shot, you could be just an inch or two off and nick one of those. Yep. So I'm going to be throwing my T-Bird off the tee. What are you going to be throwing? FD. Okay. New C-Line FD. Just, you're looking for a straight shot just to get to the top of the hill? Yeah, I, I personally would rather finish a little bit left. Okay, cool. So, All right, yeah. well, let's see what we got here. All right. Jail. I had to run and grab a disc quick that I forgot on the last hole. Uh, you know, in practice rounds, it's really a good idea to have your disc counted so that way, after each hole, you know that if you have them all or not. Do you have a method for that, Colton? Uh, yeah, know how many of each disc I carry. Yeah. Five PDs, five DD3s, you know. Nice. Oh, that was going to be so good, but... Yeah, I mean, it still was really good. Dead center of the fairway, it just chopped down. Still really good. So, but I'll take that. It's up there. Wow. Is that thing stable, or is it just like any line you put it on, that's where it goes? It's very neutral. Okay. Not really overstable. But if you put it on a hyzer, it usually stays hyzer for you? Yep. Yeah. And this is what you call terrible. Talk us through it. Where are you at? What do you have for options? What could you throw? What are you going to throw? I mean, I'm here on the right side of the fairway, which is definitely the not preferred route. I mean, all I see is trees. I'm pretty much just going to poke a forehand through the one gap that I see. 
as far down there as I can and probably take a bogey or double bogey, but I don't, right. par I don't think is savable from where I am right here. Got it. I mean, I hope I even hit this initial gap. Oh, that was so good until the skip. And it skipped down the hill? Yeah. So you might have a look for three, but you, like you said, you're probably looking at a bogey. This position right here, Colton, where I'm, I'd take this all three rounds. Yeah, Would prime you? time. Yeah. Prime so, time. I mean, obviously you still have to execute an upshot, but still, like, if you get this look, like, you're sitting good trying to get your par. <laughs> Primo. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, I would gladly take this one up left every time too. Oh, wow. I didn't even look at this yesterday at all. Uh. Oh, if you wow. can get left, that is the preferred spot to be, I'd say. Yeah, unless you're dead on like you. Where did my blue one go? Did it even make it this far? Oh, I got it. Hey, actually not that terrible. No. Yeah, you're down the hill, but you got a chance still. Nice pot. Not giving any up to Hanson. Good save, kid. Thank you. Yeah, there was no way I thought I was saving par from back there. But does that not feel like a birdie? Oh, for sure. For sure. Like, personally, I feel like I just worked extremely hard for those two shots and this third one to be that close to the basket. But that's just the par. Yeah. So yeah. this, this one's flagged here, so maybe they're removing that one, but still, like, you need to remove some more of them, like, halfway down the fairway. Then a three-inch, then a three-inch tree. Yeah. Well, if they get one past the ungettable gap, then they might get into the green now. Uh, the only thing I have to say about the par is the whole par situation doesn't bother me as much as the fairness of it, because everybody's got to play the same par. Right. You know? Yeah. But it definitely, I don't feel like I just took a par there. Right. And if I did, it was like the one of the best pars I've taken in my life. Right. Um, so we're on hole 14 here. We just got done with 13. Um, and I thought I was going to gain a stroke back, maybe two on Colton. Let's go. Baby. And sure enough, he throws really good up shot and then bangs like a 35 footer in my yeah. face yeah. from down the hill. So good job, kid. Still your box. Oh, great. Left to er, right to left wind. So going to be even harder to get down to the basket. But you're also throwing sidearm. I am. Always on this hole? Cool. Yeah, I mean, I just, I don't like the way, I mean, I haven't really tried the backhand, to be honest with you, because it just feels like such a forehand hole, but. It's a nice putter shot when you have that left to right. Maybe I'll try backhand after this. Oh, I'm getting a stroke here. What do you mean? I'm like circle's edge, bro. Really? Maybe like 45, but... That yeah, looked way short. All You've right, seen well, me putt. I have, so... I mean, you're not much closer than me, bud. No, that was terrible. That's pretty darn good.
Was that a cloud breaker or a lone howl? It was a lone howl, baby. Let's go, baby. One putter for kicks and giggles. A little short? A little short today with that right to left. Okay, got a bunch around circle's edge there. Oh, and it's not really a right to left. Once you get out there, it's almost headwind. Yeah. yeah. Like get a, a little in the mouth there, bud? Like a cow. Oh yeah, I smoked it past you. Uh. <laughs> I've seen those circle edge putts today, bud. Yeah, I've, I didn't talk about that part yet. For good reason. Yeah, I told you, right about 45 feet. <laughs> Never a chance. Door is open, folks. Ugh. I thought I had one finally. <laughs> you made me sweat it. See, this is like the best putt ever. Hitting it off the top cage is the best thing ever? It's like, it's like being in Colorado, being 20 feet away and can't even have a putt at it. Well, I got a birdie finally. It was on my second shot, but I got one. <laughs> Makes me feel a little better about myself. Which one's your, don't matter. All right. It's one thing to be missing putts but at least I'm making the putts for par. Well, I would hope you're making your five footers. I mean, that one's probably 12. Well, I hope you're making your 12 footers too. <laughs> Got a nice tailwind here. Yeah. So you throwing something under stable then? Under stable-ish. Okay. Hopefully a little flip to somewhat flat. I'm throwing a straight down there stable disc, so that way hopefully it just rides over a little bit and sits in the middle of the fairway somewhere. Yeah, I just don't want to be left. Really. Come on, Well, that was good. Right there. That's what we're looking for. I think your tee pad's doing just fine, sir. <laughs> oh boy. That's pretty good. No. What? Five, Five bucks, bucks says I get a birdie. You wanna be there? Five bucks. Well, uh, getting a birdie and being good is, is different. Well, I think this is great, sir. Thanks. No, we Sounds didn't good. have any problems, so hey, approval from us. No, that yeah. was great. Yep, it was good. Thank you. I mean, so, you don't actually want to be there, right? I actually don't mind. I birdied her from yesterday being right there. And I'm just throwing a skip shot in. But being to, compared to where I am, a dead straight shot at it? I, but I don't like, I don't, I'd rather not flirt with those trees and be under them. But you throw one too short or too far, and yeah, you're that's screwed. True. That's true. 
Yeah, I, I like well, definitely I mean, don't want to be left. You know, I'm leaning on the hyzers still right now. So that's what I've thrown for the last six years. <laughs> hyzer, throw another hyzer, make a putt. Hyzer. Throw, an ST, throw a hyzer. <laughs> and it can be forehand or backhand. You're throwing hyzers on 90% of shots. Right. I mean, if I could throw it right there, I would too, but I don't throw it that far. Got to do what I can with what I got. This is obvious. We're throwing a Draco on this hole or on this shot. And really, all I'm trying to do is hit it about 20 feet shy of the gap. So then it just flare skips into the gap. How's that? Fine. If that's if that's the type of shot you want to throw, <laughs> you almost took out the cameraman. Nice. So, I mean, it's not your ideal path, but yeah, this is how I draw it up. Throw it somewhere in the middle or left side and then throw a skip shot in. The old Calvin Heimberg Draco. Yep. Yep. Not allergic to birdies. I just figured it out. Not allergic. I thought it was for a little while there. Well, don't speak too soon. <laughs> Achoo! <laughs> you sneezing before you know it. <sighs> All right. You go that way? Heck yeah, I go this way. Isn't this the path? There's a path right here. Fair enough. You take your route, I'll take mine. All right, so we got three holes left. Colton's got me by one still. I still feel like I can beat him, so hopefully we birdie the next two and then he has an issue somewhere in between. So let's go, baby. Hole 16 here. What, uh, what are you throwing? Why are you throwing it? Well, I'm gonna try and throw my MD1 and kind of just throw it dead straight and let it scoot up the hill. I don't really want to try and force anything over because, I mean, this tree makes me want to force something over. It doesn't, it doesn't. Like, I feel like if I'm going to force something, I'm going to hit it. But then these on the right hand side always come into play too. Yeah. What are you throwing? So I'm actually, I'm actually throwing, throwing a faster, faster disc than you by a long shot. Yeah. I'm going to throw a JLS and I'm going to throw it flat and try and hit like medium part of the hill. And so it just anti skips up to the basket. So that way I'm throwing something easy and flat, which is very controllable, very accurate. And just like you said, I don't have to force anything. Like it should be easy for me to throw a flat, you know, 50, 70% JLS shot. Let's see it. I think you're still your box though. I might steal it on this one. What? Down. Are you kidding me? That's how you draw it up. You throw it left 70 and it rolls 60 back. So you're pin high looking at a 30 footer. Yep. Come on, dude. 30 feet. Come on, bud. That's like 15. How far that rolled? No, how far I am from the basket. Oh, so it rolled even closer than what I was <laughs> No, I'm probably Perfect. 30. <laughs> Oh, I threw my shot, but I got the kick. See, I don't know, dude. Every time I throw this hole, I always, I'm scared of this thing. So I always end up way left. Which thing? The oh, oh yeah, yeah. Stupid I thought tree. you pointed the other way. Like I know I'm lined up there, but I also don't want to line up right here. 
so I yeah i kind of line up and like aim my shoulder at like that solo tree right there so, so that, that way, way my hand should be a little bit on the left of it. Just like that. Nice shot, bud. Schmucks. <laughs> so, like this hole, don't like it. What do you think? Like it. Don't like the way it sets up for my game. Got it. I think it's a good hole, but just the way that I throw that tree is like so, such a mental barrier to get past. Yep. But like, I mean, really, I mean, obviously my first one was much more left than I wanted, but if I'm like at this power line left, I mean, it's a 30 foot putt. Yeah. It's not terrible. No. It's not exactly what I want, but. You got your green one? Not yet. Yeah, you're right here. You got a putt. Sweet. Got to get my putters. You than me? Uh, I think so. How lucky was that roll that it stays up and it doesn't start? <laughs> I thought we were going to watch it just trickle down this hill. <laughs> All right, so... I could do a straight on putt, but I got this little like squigglies here on the right side of the basket. So I'm gonna do a straddle. And doing a straddle from here will also give me a little more balance on this incline, don't you think? Yep, for sure. There it is. Bingo. Dang it. Let's go. Shot for shot, baby. Match play. Good hole. Initially step up and it felt like one. Coming up the pipe, but then once you get out of it, what's it doing? You throw a forehand? I've been throwing backhand on this period. You throw forehand off this one? Yeah. Cause you're just trying to get out? Yeah, I'm just trying to get out to the right. I don't feel like getting far down there does me much benefit. I'd rather be right and then it opens up this little, like if I throw it straight, you know, you're gonna land up in here. Like I don't wanna approach coming here or there. Oh, there's a freaking lizard right behind the sign. What? Check it out. Holy Hannah. Hi, guy. That's sick. If I bust one straight out backhand and I end up like over here like, I don't want to approach the basket throwing hyzer or forehand hyzer here. Like, I would rather throw a forehand short to out here and then have that this little opening to throw a hyzer approach up to. Got it. That's what I personally would rather do. But, I mean, a couple holes ago, I'd personally rather throw straight up the gut and not have a skip shot into the gap. But yeah. you executed that just fine. Yeah. I think I'm going to stick to my game, but I'm going to probably throw that sidearm as a funzy. Nice. Fine with me. So that's that you just you just executed your plan to what you want, right? Yeah, that's like honestly, distance doesn't matter that much to me. I just want to be right. Yeah. Shoot. You can still birdie it. Actually, I probably shouldn't throw this disc because I want to throw it next, probably. <laughs> you want to throw a PD too? I mean, this one's beef. No, I'm going to throw something that I own just so that way I can get used to my stuff. Let's throw this bad boy and see what happens. Look at that nice rim there. Yeah, I think you changed my mind. Yeah, I think that's like prime time, bro. To have I mean, a little that's hyzer. just like a one step with the driver. Like, right. 
And on the occasion, I mean, I know your first shot wasn't what you were wanting, but on the occasion that you throw something even worse, yeah. and like, bro, you get caught up. I've seen it happen. You get caught up in here, and you're like, you're, in you're done. Yeah, I think that's probably the best play. Because like you said, being an extra 100 or 200 feet isn't that big a deal out here when your up shot's only right. three to 300 to 120. And distance. it's not like... I mean, if you were getting down by that tree with a backhand turnover, I'd say, cool, like, do it. But I feel like, for me personally, like, to bend that through the gap, like, I'm taking a huge chance of, like, hitting these trees, not getting out of the gap, or I'm going to end up so straight that it, like, it's not much benefit to me. Yeah. So we got a little bit of right to left. What I'm gonna try and do is get this PD2 to go flat and then hit at the bottom of the hill and then skip up it. So that way I give myself a look at three. Throw them backhand? Yep. Is that what you do here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, go left right now. Uh-oh. I don't know if that's safe. <laughs> oh! Throw another one. And then I was scared that time. Whew. All right, so we're gonna get up there. It's gonna be safe. I'm gonna tap up, get my par. This is what I want to throw. <sighs> Why are you switching? Because that's a mutant and super overstable, and I don't know that I need something that overstable, but I want I want to like skip up the hill. So I don't know if I should be throwing an exo soft disc, but um maybe just something up in speed and but not as overstable so you can hit the bottom of the hill and go up it. Yeah, but then I think about this little headwind and hopefully this thing is overstable enough to I don't have much in between super overstable and like barely overstable, you know? Yeah. We'll take Nick's advice. I don't know why I'm giving you birdies. You mean five bucks? Five bucks? Well, I'm gonna birdie the next one, so. Ooh! So we're gonna be even. All right, please be. But you about. see what I mean on that forehand? Yeah, this is. You know, like. Dumb not to. But just like you were saying, we need to get out and then figure it out from there. Like, it doesn't do me that much better for where I was at. And I am safe, baby. Let's go. All right, Birdie's still in play, I guess. Yeah, I'm just laying this one up. <laughs> I mean, it's literally tempting. It's wide open. Whew. This is a nice little jump putt layup. Perfect, I have some janky footing up here. i love to hear that. Can we get a whiff out of you? A whiff? A whiff. Two stroke swing, you know, who knows? I don't know, with the wind picking up? You might wanna lay this one up, bud. Upside down? Oh, folks! Oh, folks! I'm gonna, re I'll repot it. You're gonna repot instead of taking that one down there? I mean, you can make that one down there. 
So is that a five? Is that what I'm smelling? Yep. <laughs> smells a little stinky. Smells like tie ball game, I think. I didn't want to cost you five bucks. Well, I'm trying to cost you five bucks. Watch this next shot. Yeah. Not a chance. <laughs> Not a chance. Zero? I don't think you can birdie it. Okay. No, I'm definitely going to do it. Well, good round, bud. Good round. Not really. It, it sucked, was pretty but... flat. Pretty, pretty flat, flat, but, you know, yep. we're here. So, last hole. Oh, I thought I smelled something. Box. Yep. First, Finally. First time. First since, hole and last hole. Since what? Hole seven? Ah, uh, it's, it's been a while. I'll tell you that much. More still tied. Oh! Go, go! Shoot. No boy, no. Not getting the five bucks. I, if I birdie this, I still could get five bucks. It's you never true. said bogey nope. was out of the nope. question. We just said three out of the four birdies. Are they going to make you change this? Nope. No wonder. Look at that thing go. Oh, wait, did I kick forward too? There, you got a chance, kid. Nice shot. For the last hole, we have the famous kind of joining us. Gotta throw a couple shots. So, all right, question. Obviously, this isn't good win for it, but what do you think about throwing the hyzer just to get up there along that, that side so that way your upshot is just wide open? I mean, that, it's, I don't know, dude. Like, getting over this is like, I mean, I was going to try it just for the fun of it. I would almost rather go He's fine. middle, like middle flex. Oh, really? Like... I mean, that's gone, but. It's just so. Nope, still out of bounds. Yeah. It's not happening with this wind, but with the right to left, it's gonna push you right back in bounds, right? Yeah? I don't know. We'll see come game day, but odds are I'm throwing straight up that middle. Yeah, no, it's not the pink. Because I feel like anywhere along this is just a nice, easy dump hyzer to the basket, but I don't know. Because I feel like if I get up here and I'm short a little bit, I have that tough, like, low ceiling shot. Yeah. That's true. Maybe not pushing it as far and just being left in the fairway is maybe the smart play. So, I'm pretty happy with this. I've got a wide open look at it. I mean, it's a little low ceiling out the gate, but after that, as long as I hit it right, it's gonna be straight to the basket. And I didn't hit it right. That was bad. You're just trying to give it to me, bud. That was really bad. That was not good. Ugh. The left to right wind didn't help either, but that's just an excuse. Yeah. Well, that's better. Lesson learned for Friday. If I'm here again, I'm throwing faster, not slower, and just not Don't throwing as hard. Don't forget your PD2. Thank you. You know it would be great? 
could just bury this in your face on the last hole. You could, it's worth five bucks. I probably won't, but. Oh my goodness, you bomb. Let's go, baby! So not only did I just lose, <laughs> but I also just lost five bucks, so. <laughs> there you it, baby! There's also that. <sighs> oh well. A whale. On to the next. On to the practice round tomorrow. You play tomorrow? Um, I don't know. Take the day off? I might just take the day off and up shots and, like, why didn't I just do this? Like, this is like, doink my head good. That's a real good question. Well. You really we didn't want to finish under par, huh? <laughs> What'd you finish at? One down. So I finished at two down. So yeah, because I went, it was even, one down, two down, two down, one down. Well, good job, bud. Pretty good. It was fun. It was. Played like hot, hot garbage. We played very flat. We didn't take a lot of bogeys, but we didn't get any good birdies. If we play like that come Friday, we'll probably be in 70th place. And that's not where you want to start the no, tournament? No, 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 no. Especially in conditions like today. Yeah. Like this is like 25 mile hour gust conditions. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we got work to do. I learned a lot today though. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, of course. All right, folks, that's a wrap. Um, that's 18 holes for you. We just finished the back nine, um, and we're calling it hot garbage squared. Um, it was a very flat round for both of us. Not a lot of bogeys, and, but just not a lot of birdies. So it's a middle ground where for us as our caliber, we need to be getting birdies and birdies and birdies. Uh, for the round, Colton finished at two down. I finished at one down. We had quite the swing on 17 to get tied. However, I threw a pretty poor up shot. But at the end of the day, it wouldn't have mattered because I drained a huge putt into your face. Worth five extra dollars on the round, so. It's true, we made a bet with four holes to go that if one of us got three out of four birdies, or the other one owed the other one $5, so I'll be Venmoing this man $5 for his stellar play, even though he- uh, Was not stellar. Those four shots you still only, or those four holes you were still only one under on him with that double bogey you took over there. Let's not forget that roll away. Is this a three? This, this is a par four. four. Oh, okay, single bogey, my bad. Yeah, yeah come on now, I didn't, I didn't take a double. Okay, just, right. just two singles. Two, two singles, singles. Okay. all right. So that's a wrap for this first practice round here at the Belton Open. Um, the, open the Open at Belton. Oh, sorry, the Open at Belton. Is that right? That is correct. There we go. Uh, so we're here, like I said, it's a good practice round, learned a lot, but we need to be Six, Six to eight strokes better tomorrow oh, for or sure. on Friday? For sure. Yeah, so. we, we shoot like that on Friday and we will uh, be in the bottom half of the field for sure. And with what we did, I feel like both of us can be in the top half easily. With Definitely. Just cleaning up a few strokes. So yeah. I look forward to Friday and I uh, look forward to seeing you guys all on the next episode of the practice round with Nick Hansen. Yeah, thank you, Gatekeeper, for having me. And thank you, Nick, for allowing me to get some anger and... Uh, smack talk out on you yeah yeah it was a good round thanks bud heck, heck yeah catch, catch you on the next one, one.